Okay, okay, before we really start with this video, I want to mention that this is our first iteration of our new Making a Master series, where I try to make you the best player you could be. Alright, let, let's go. Hello everybody, welcome back to this new video. Today I'm going to be showing you some more advanced combos for when you're really getting those higher ranks up. These combos are for pretty specific situations most of the time, but they can really, really get you that extra advantage that you really need in Rumble. Okay, this first combo is going to be pretty simple. All that you're going to need is doing a cube, and then doing uppercut, kick, and straight. Just like that. Now an easier way to do this one is doing kick first and then doing uppercut straight. It's way easier, but you don't get that angular momentum that makes the cube a little bit less predictable. Okay, so one more time. Cube, uppercut, kick straight. This next one is pretty basic, is just doing uppercut straight. Now doing this on cube is kind of nice. Um, but it works really good on pillar as well because it really becomes long and pillar is way faster than cube But what's nice with cube is that it really rolls on the ground making the movement a bit less predictable and harder to parry for your opponent Now for this one you'll need any ball that's on the ground and you just need to do uppercut straight Now careful because if the ball is grounded it goes way higher and it will most likely go over the person So if you have a ball on the ground doing uppercut straight uh, is a really nice and fast way to damage someone. So let's say you have an ungrounded ball. You shouldn't do kick, wait for it to land, and then do uppercut straight. But what you should do is parry uppercut straight. Because again, parry ungrounds objects. Now for this next one, you'll need a grounded wall, preferably grounded wall. Now this next one is really, really hard. Uh, but I'll show you how to practice this one and you'll get it in no time. So we actually did this one on stream, uh, go hit that bell if you don't want to miss the streams. Um, it's uppercut kick, uppercut straight. Just like that. Now this is probably, probably the one of the best combos you can do. Because believe it or not, but you, could actually, you can actually throw a wall over another wall like this. It's one of the best combos I know, and I'm gonna give credit, of course, to my boy um, Magic for giving me this one. Now let's get to some video analysis on how to do it, because it, there's a little bit more to it than you might think. You start off by spawning in a wall and then doing uppercut. After the uppercut, you want to wait until the bottom of the wall gets closer to you. Now do note that the longer you wait, the lower the wall will flip. But waiting longer does make the move a lot easier. All right, this next move is called the grenade, and it's exactly what you think it is. It's a way to make a grenade. Now, what you need to do is make like four pillars in like a half circle or like a wall of pillars. Then what you want to do is make a cube and put explode on it. And then you want to do the exact same thing. Cube, explode. Now this works really well with pillars, but if you do it with walls, like, let's just make two walls and then do it. It'll send them flying as well. They go a little bit less far, but they do more damage. Now, what's cool about this is you don't need to spawn in pillars to do this. So if there's just some stuff littered around, you can do cube, cube, explode. If you put explode on both cubes, you'll get a further distance than if you just put it on one, which makes sense. Alright, this next one is kind of difficult to get, but once you know how to do it, it's pretty simple. What you want to do is spawn in a wall and then doing straight uppercut. Now if you're doing this right-handed, the best way to do it is coming in from the left, going into straight and then turning it into uppercut. If you're left-handed, doing it the opposite way. It's a pretty difficult move, um, but it takes some practice. I only practice this one for about 10 minutes now and... I can get it pretty consistently, but not always. All right, one more time. Hey, it's not that hard. I do want to give credit to my boy Magic because it's a really, really, really good combo. And once you get the angle right, it's really easy to do. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, this next one is pretty easy. Uh, it's not really an advanced combo, but I do want to mention it because your enemies don't really expect it. Uh, what you need is spawn a wall, then spawn a cube, and then straight the cube. 
Now this is a pretty good move because people don't really see it coming and you can stay really defensive if that's what you're going for. You can even go for one of these moves and then grounding your wall or these moves and then grounding your wall. Be careful though because if you're not careful enough the ball will hit you. And then you can also use the wall as an attack as well and then continue pressuring with this. Alright, this next one is a little bit of a weird one. What you need is either a ball or a disc or a cube and using flick on it. Now, although this isn't really a combo, I can give you some tips on how to use flick and what it's good for. Now, I like using flick as more of a melee attack. Uh, a, a great way to use this is by punching it and then parrying it when it comes back to you if you do end up missing your target or swinging your arms around. Do be careful though, doing this with bigger objects can be very, very, very risky. Because a really great way to counter a flick is by using hold. Because with flick you do control positionals. You do control positional stuff with flick, but once someone grabs it, you don't have any control on where it goes, almost. You can kind of skew it, but the person with hold has more control, so they can easily throw it against you and use your own weapon to your disadvantage. So doing this with big walls, I can't really recommend because every time someone's used it on me, I've been able to use hold and punch it back. But with ball, it's it's a pretty fun way to swing your arms around or parry it back. It, just have fun with this one. Uh, do be careful though, because you don't want to hit yourself. You could even do this with disc because it goes a little bit further, but it's a little bit harder to control. Okay, this next one isn't really a combo per se, more of a, a general tip. A really awesome melee attack too is using a sliding wall. Sliding walls give the most damage points in the game. If someone is jumping over you, behind you, grab a wall, slide it back. Sliding around you is useful, it's slower than sliding it back. Again, with this one, have fun with it. You can also use it on both of your hands. I don't see why you would though, because it's less control for you. But yeah. Now this next one is pretty good. I don't think I've ever covered this one. Although it's not really a super advanced one, it's really nice to know. I think you know what that is. It's an exploded disc. And they have actually made this move easier since the last update that made uh, explode a little closer to your knuckles. If you're really skilled at the game, you can even do a speed disc. First try to get that exploded disc down. After you're done with that, you can try the speeded exploded disc. Although I haven't really gotten it down perfectly. I don't really use it too much. Um, but yeah, fun stuff. But I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed watching and I hope it's been helpful. If you did find it helpful, uh, make sure to drop a like down there. Uh, maybe even click the subscribe button, but that's all up to you. And I'll see you all in the next video. Be out.